<laughs> my god. It is officially one in the morning. Hello, class. <laughs> so my problem of the week is that I am officially sad because TikTok is the new thing, right? And I just feel on so many levels that I am way too old for that. I'm not judging the very talented TikTokers. Okay, I'm 22. You know how they say that like the camera adds 10 pounds? I think emotional baggage adds 10 years. So you add 10 years, I'm 32. Oh my God. I am having a quarter life crisis again, again. So I'm just looking for ways to reinstate my youth. I haven't, ugh. I haven't really seen much of TikTok. I'm still trying to educate myself, but from what I've seen, people who are really freaking famous on TikTok also give me the same energy of someone who would shove me into a locker in the seventh grade and run away with my multiple sandwiches. But I'm not trying to be judgmental, so I'm trying to inverse. I was a legit dancer once. I literally don't know who that is. A thousand percent, not a very good one. I will never talk about these times because quite honestly, I don't remember them. I'm still recovering. I don't really understand the dancing videos. This is, this is a looky cookie. I can't even take a still Instagram picture and not be ready to send it off a cliff for a few weeks afterwards. Add in another component where you're on video, most of them don't wear shirts and you're just like jiggling around in front of your iPhone. I will give you credit for that because I am not emotionally, mentally, or physically strong enough to imagine watching a video of myself dancing. <laughs> if you ever see a video of me dancing, Jesus Christ, dude. If you ever see a video of me dancing on TikTok or dancing for anywhere in that matter, I am not okay <laughs> and you need to call the police because I am either possessed, drugged, it's unfathomable to me that people can move their bodies in the way that people will <laughs> be moving their bodies. I was watching Cheer Today on Netflix. Morgan is my favorite because we have the same name. <laughs> like honestly, I don't even know if I could do a somersault I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't flip. Spare me! When you're basically just a ball of talentless bleh, then the best thing you can do on TikTok is follow life hacks. <laughs> I picked out a few TikTok life hacks that I thought would be fun to try out because I've been seeing people do that. We're gonna tick and we're gonna tuck and pop and lock and jam and prick. God, I'm so freaking old, it's so sad. It's so sad. Good night. I don't know how they do it. Do we like take a shot or do we do the sober? Oh, maybe that could be fun. What do you think, Cheeto? What if there was a life hack to turn Cheeto into a different color? Like a Dorito. 4.47 on a Monday afternoon. It's we Monday. need this, we, we deserve, deserve this. See? Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that's like, that's like spicy. You feel it going down your esophagus and it's like exploding through your veins. Hmm. Who's ready to TikTok? I picked things that I thought could be helpful to you. Because we're <laughs> not that I don't need help. I need the most help in the world. So I was thinking about you and I know that you like your bananas with your oatmeal. Yes. A helpful life hack. We all love bananas. The only problem is they go bad pretty fast, but I have a life hack for that. The first step is to put the bananas on a hanger like this. The next step is to put it on something pretty high up like this. When the bananas are high up like this, they think they're in the tree, so they continue to grow and don't go bad. We're gonna come back in a week and see how they look. <laughs> I got Chiquita bananas, the cheapest ones on the market. Great. And I don't want one of these right now. I just am hungry a little bit. Well, there's still like five more. We're okay. All right, party on. Which tree? Well, I think if you want the I existing... think the higher the better. Well, oh, this one's a little dead. It could use some like light. Yeah, I think we could put it over here. Oh, I'm a fashion designer. Please look at this. <laughs> Emma Chamberlain is shook right now at her fashion show like Honestly, we could create fashion using only food A banana peel hat. Are you kidding me after I finish this? I could climb the tree Can you hold my purse? 
Oh, Morgan climbing the tree is not safe. She is the most clumsy person I know. I need like a stepping stool. You're moving my rocks? <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to get all Oh my god. Way. Oh my god. I'm in a tree. Oh my god. It doesn't, ah! it doesn't feel like a very stable tree. Like this would fall oh. if you stepped on it. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. I've never. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm so sweating. My stepping stool was that, and I stepped on it and it broke. Well, you're just gonna have to jump. Jump? <laughs> Do I look like a jumper? <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this in like flip flop. If this doesn't work, Jesse, I'm calling my lawyer. Where should they go? Uh, uh. Oh my god, do you remember that Webkins game where the monkey was looking for the bananas? This is like that IRL. Okay. Put them somewhere high. Somewhere that looks nutrient dense. <laughs> Eyes on the prize. It would hurt real bad if I fell in here. <laughs> oh, I guess that's yeah. where they're staying. Somebody call Gwen Stefani. The bananas have a new single that they're ready to bring to the light. Bananas, they've experienced new trauma that they're ready to let loose. Oh. 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 <laughs> he didn't even mention that he fell. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop laughing. We'll check back in a week. <laughs> this is great. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, so it's been about a week and I'm outside checking on the bananas. And before I even show you, I'm gonna tell you it was a Stand with his people Israel, now and forevermore. As Christians and Jews, we know that we have a scriptural mandate to feed the hungry, the tens of thousands of elderly who are forgotten. I've lost my will to live. This happened 17 years ago, and she's still in excruciating pain and can't even afford her medicine. All the time, I suffer alone with sickness and pain. Your help is urgently needed. Please, right now, make a gift of $25 that will rush food and essential aid to an elderly Jewish person struggling to survive. Every gift helps keep them alive and shows your love to God's people. It's only together that we can meet this challenge of rushing basic essentials like food boxes to the elderly who need it most. Inside every food box we put a note letting the recipient know that it was provided by Christians and Jews who love them. It means so much to me. <laughs> Your help will bring food to their tables and much needed peace into their lives. Whether you can help one time or once a month, you will receive God's blessings when you bless these children of Abraham. Listen up, the soap you shower with, it's You probably haven't even questioned what bar of soap you lather up with. Let's face it, most guys don't. They're still using whatever bar their mommy bought for her little man. Is that what you want? To smell like mama's little man? Ugh. But now you can upgrade your shower game with Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. I'm talking about natural, nourishing, cold-pressed, hand-cut soap for men. Men who use their hands. Men who build things. Men who open the pickle jar on the first try. Men who catch foul balls without spilling their beer. You won't just smell good either. Your skin will be healthier and more nourished. Dare I say, soft. Oh, men aren't supposed to have soft skin? Yeah, well men weren't supposed to cry during movies. And then they made the movie Rudy. He's so little. You wanna smell like the forest? Boom, pine tar, we've got you. You wanna smell like the sea? Boom, nautical sage, we've got you. You wanna smell like you just got off a boat in the Caribbean? Boom, bay rum, we've got you. And with six more cents, we've got you covered no matter what kind of man you are. Now you're wondering why have I been doing it wrong for so long? During the First World War, Big Soap started taking out all the natural ingredients to make production cheaper and faster. And they replaced all the natural stuff with chemicals. Chemicals like sodium lauryl sulfate, parabens, 
and dioxane. Chemicals linked to depression, liver damage, cancer, and low sperm count. And worst of all, dry skin. Oh, your poor balls, all dry, empty, and sad. But there's good news. We make our soaps with natural ingredients from the earth. Ingredients like oils, plants, goat's milk, Greek yogurt, oatmeal, shea butter, and citrus. No. Turn your shower game up to 11. With the smooth lather of gold moss or the exfoliating woodsy bliss that is pine tar. Get ready to step out of the shower feeling alive. Still not sure? Here's a couple reviews from real customers. Joseph S. says, This is the perfect bar of soap. It's like it was handcrafted in the Northwest Forest by beautiful tiny elves. Oh, tiny elves isn't enough for you? Well, here's another review from Michael A. It makes you feel like you just stepped out of a mountain stream and Squatch was there to hand you the towel. It's time for you to get the right tool for the job because you're worth it, my friend. We ship it right to your door. And with a 100% satisfaction guarantee, if it's not the best bar of soap you've ever used, it's on us. Tens of thousands of men already subscribe, which means that every month, fresh new bars of Squatch show up at their door. Click the link for Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. Real soap for real men. Or don't, and continue to be mommy's little helper. That's a wrap. All right, Woo! nice. Yeah. Nice. Did he click it yet? Did he click the link? He hasn't clicked the link? I would have wanted to heard about the dry, sad balls. Oof. Man, what's this guy doing? Click the link, man. Step up your shower game. The flock. I don't think it worked. So, James is the frying rack. Here we have a life hack. All right, we got a mini part. We're trying to turn the tree. Go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. If the car would actually work. Go, 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 go. Oh shit, it's working, keep going. So I was trying to personalize that. Say you break your legs or something and you need the dogs to get a little exercise. So instead of attaching the rope to a log, we can put dog bones on the rope so you can drive them around and the dogs will hypothetically chase us and get their exercise for the day with you not having to move a leg. With one of my legs instead of having to walk both of them, which is so exhausting. Yeah, because we're not, it's not walking season. Up here? Yeah, I got a rope. We have an injury on us. See, your leg's injured. You can't walk. You can only Thank drive. God you have me. Oh, see, they're getting amped up, amped up. So Honey's a little slower, which I'm not judging, because me too. So I thought we could tie one in the middle, so there's two. Representation of Morgan at all times. <laughs> yeah. This is my brain, don't worry, I know how to weave it through <laughs> seamlessly. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. I guess this is torture. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like waving an ice cream cone in front of me. <laughs> I guess you could just hold it up front. Hey! Here, we can throw it overboard after we start going. You ready? I'm ready. All right, you gotta go fast. Okay. Fast? Okay, too fast. Wait, I don't have a seatbelt on! Go! Go! Fast! Oh my god, it works! Ah! <laughs> I'm brilliant! Ah! They fall! Oh my god, literally Thomas Edison, I am the most qualified person to date. It is like the best tug of war game. Oh my god, I'm putting this on my resume for sure. Ah. Oh my god. My high school teachers who told me I was an idiot, they're shook right now. Oh my god. Wow, it really works. <laughs> I okay, will win the Academy up. Award. We're not I don't think I've ever felt this level of success before. <laughs> Sorry, I'm planning my Noble Awards speech. Is that what it's called? <laughs> okay, your award is getting to chew your breath. Nobel Prize. No. <laughs> I'm planning that. My Noble Award. <laughs> 
So I know that you have a dying love for candles. <gasps> oh, so yeah. this is a TikTok life hack to make your own. What? <laughs> Wait, that's kind so of crazy. So you make light bulb candles. So you get a light bulb and I get a light bulb. God, you have a whole kit? Yes. That is the straightest thing I've ever when seen you are, from you. They like busted out. Gosh, they should have mentioned this is not safe for children. Like it's not even safe for me as an adult. This is not a life hack because it's not easy. Yeah, just buy a candle. If Albert Einstein was here, I don't think he would be able to do this. Oh, I did it. Oh, with a screwdriver? Well, I... It was not easy. Two. Oh. Sh Who invented the light bulbs? Thomas Edison? I think so, yeah. Thomas Edison, hit me up. Hit me up? <laughs> like dead so long ago. <laughs> We're gonna hot glue the light bulb. All right, on stick the plate? it. Yeah, stick it down. What if I wanna go on a date and I need a candle at dinner? You have to have a nice plate. First. So you go in. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, I think wow. that's enough. Oh, see, it smells delicious. Wow, he's talented. God, nothing pisses me off. Do you enjoy when people are singing happy birthday to you? Oh, no. Yeah, if Especially you enjoy if that, I don't trust you. If there's an ice cream cake that follows, maybe. Hi, <laughs> <I> me. <mean. laughs> oh, God. Wait, that doesn't seem safe. That seems like the, <laughs> is that a wick it or string? Oh, my birthday candle, I didn't even get to make a I wish. thought we were gonna die. I need like water on hand, hold on. Happy birthday, Thomas Edison. Wait, oh, it's yeah. definitely just burning the actual string. We'll play the TikTok again. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie, play the Tic Tac again. Oh yeah, that looks like a spa peaceful experience. Whoa. This is explosive. Yeah. It kind of looks that? cute though. I might deal with some light bulb art after this. You're gonna keep this? Well, no, like it looks kind of cute, not in this context. <laughs> like in what context? I don't know, maybe a wall full of light bulbs or something. Oh, like interpretive art, like you could hang it like this. Yeah, like that's kind of cute. Who wants to buy this $100,000? Let me know. I guess you could give this to someone as like a birthday gift. Be like, oh my God, my kid made it. <laughs> I don't know. You have no kids. <laughs> I'll keep it. I'll put it in a storage closet. <laughs> okay, so you... What are we doing? <laughs> Sucking bugs? Oh my god. Spider webs? Iconic. <laughs> I pack all you girls out there that scream for your non-existent boyfriends. You see a spider? <laughs> Five feet away? That is so this is a life hack that someone made. A hair tutorial. Oh no. <laughs> I freaking hate my hair. I gotcha, dog. What the hell are you gonna do with a vacuum? I'm gonna suck that up. Put a hair band on the hose. Push the hair band onto the hair. Pull out, unlike your grandpa. Ta-da. Kind of iconic. <laughs> Dad hack. Pause. Get your dad. <laughs> Come on back. Well, your hoodie's kind of in the way. Can you flip your hoodie forward? Oh my god. Oh. This. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait. Is this gonna. Oh! Oh my god. It's cold. It's cold. It worked. Holy shit. Wait, did you get the hair tie on? Yeah, but I think it's a loose hair tie, so we need a tighter <laughs> one. Oh, you know what? Here. Yeah, let me get on this. I'm gonna Wait. start underneath. Wait, you gotta lean your head back a little. <laughs> oh my god, it's working. So you just need a tighter, a tighter band, but this does work. It is a success. Brad Mondo, we want to see uh, a test <laughs> from a real hairstylist instead of this clown. Let's kill your spiders, ladies. Yeah. We already have one run in with wax before. With wax? Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You gotta pull so hard, Morgan. Three, two, one. Ow! 
Ah, you can't pull up. You can't make me do this to myself, more. Ah, oh my God. Oh my hell and a half. Say you have a kid, right? And they're an idiot and they put like a Chipotle <laughs> burrito <laughs> with idiot. the- <laughs> Apparently you can blow up a microwave if you turn it on without anything on it because it sends the waves into nothing. Just saying. Well anyway, say your microwave blows up Chipotle burrito incident with the foil. I guess that this is why- You put Chipotle in the microwave <laughs> with the foil? Were you high out of your mind? <laughs> yeah, that was not a good day with mom and dad. <laughs> so this is like an alternative if you don't have a microwave to heat up your wax and you just have a date that night. So you heat up the wax with the stri- Why is Cheeto in the shower? <laughs> Cheeto's getting ready for his man tonight. Interesting, this is like it was made for a straightener. Probably do some <coughs> stash if you had one, or. I guess I might have like a little mustache. It's pretty big for a mustache. Hunter, have you ever met a girl with a mustache, to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's you. <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's too hot. <laughs> oh, well you can put this on your mustache. Just cut it and just use this. <laughs> this is like a confrontation. <laughs> I don't think you actually have one. Rip off your foundation. And oh yeah, no, 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 stick to my arm. Do you love that Trish is casually in our uh -huh. bathroom? No one's gonna trust us with anything. This is like really ratchet. This is like if you're in a pinch. <laughs> well, you gotta do it fast, I'm sure. Oh my god, Let's oh my see. god. I'm sweat. Is it gonna be hot? Oh, it's hot. Not that. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. Ooh. Now she's already committed, which is the worst <laughs> part, because now there's no way for it to come off except for it to be ripped off. As quick as you can. People so. are gonna be like, what do you do for fun with your siblings? You guys spend a lot of time together. I'm gonna be like, three, two, one. Yikes. It did work. Did it? <laughs> uh, maybe it didn't. <laughs> You know what? I should get money just so you guys can all be satisfied that something worked. What? That didn't work. That was a flop. We need a dollar bill so that the masses can be satisfied. Or if I scrunch oh, it up. Do your thing. 